Today on All Things 80s, we've got Astro Wars from My Christmas in 1982. Welcome back to All Things 80s, and as we continue to go over Christmases from the past, I'm going to look at Christmas of 1982 when I acquired this very Astro Wars by Grandstand. Now before we get to this, I'm going to give you a quick bit of history as to my experiences with video games as a child. Now, my dad's aunt and uncle owned a pub in Newcastle, England called the Adelaide. And it was a real sort of rough and tumble working man's pub. And we would go down once a year to stay with them. And coincidentally, I've said this many times before, my very first Star Wars figures came from Phoenix in Newcastle during one of these stays. And in fact, I'm pretty certain that what I'm about to say all ties in together. So in one particular visit in 1980, which would have been the year I got my first ever Star Wars figures because they were on Emperor Strikes Back cards, my, my dad's uncle, I mean, we always called him Uncle Alan, but he wasn't my uncle directly, he was my dad's uncle, but Uncle Alan had just taken delivery of this brand new piece of equipment for his pub and that was a Space Invaders game and I was just so excited to see this thing and I have memories of some of these real rough Newcastle men uh, holding me up and letting me play Space Invaders and I remember my mum would give me 10p and I would stick it in the slot and like I said, these guys would hold me up and let me play this game. And I fell in love with Space Invaders. And to this day, that is my favorite video game. So fast forward two years to 1982. And all I wanted for Christmas, that sounds like a song, was this. Now, Astro Wars by the British company Grandstand first came out in 1981. So it had been out for a year. So I knew all about it. And for Christmas 1982, this is what I got. And amazingly, this has survived. This is the actual one I've had all these years. And at the time, um, it was rather expensive. I believe the suggested retail price was circa 31, 32 pounds, which was a lot of money back in 1982. But to get my own video game was just beyond my wildest dreams and I was so happy to receive this on Christmas Day back in 82 which would have made me what eight years old. Now we'll go over this game and sort of give you a quick demonstration. Now I should point out fortunately Grandstand did include a power adapter with this because whilst it does run on four C batteries my memories of batteries back in the 80s were two things. One, they were very expensive, and two, they didn't last very long. So thankfully, it came with its own power adapter. But I do remember frequently as a kid using the batteries and playing with this outside. And bearing in mind that in Scotland, 90% of the time it was grey and overcast, so there was no issue with the sun causing glare. So I'd play with this outside. Inside, um, it was very much a game that I could only really play in my bedroom due to the fact that there were no volume controls and the sounds are rather annoying. And we'll get to that in the demonstration. In terms of gameplay, very straightforward, very much a rip-off of Space Invaders with a few little twists, one of which was at the end of each round, the little spaceship you were controlling would separate and you had to try and dock the two parts together by using the left and right lever and the fire button could be used to boost the engines up. So this thing would be going back and forth. You had to try and get them to line up. It was pretty cool. We'll see that in just a moment. Uh, four levels. Level one, you're fighting one mobile fighter at a, a slow speed. Level two is one mobile fighter at a faster speed. Level three is two mobile fighters, and level four, two mobile fighters at a much faster speed. As a kid, I only really played levels one and three. I did complete the game on levels one and three 
levels two and four were actually pretty damn difficult. Um, as you can see, very nice shape to it, very much what you would call a tabletop game as opposed to a handheld game. And I just have some really great memories of this and it remains one of my favorite gifts for Christmas I ever got. As I said, having played the real Space Invaders game, I became obsessed with this type of uh, shoot 'em up space game and to get one that I could play any time I wanted really was something quite special. So let's go ahead and take a look at the game features. So, as you can see by today's standards, it's not much, but for 40 years ago, this thing was absolutely mind-blowing. And I am just so thankful that I managed to hold on to this because the memories that are contained within this one device uh, are just priceless. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. So thank you all for watching. Special thanks goes out to the patrons. Please like, please subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos from All Things 80s.